Welcome. Thank you for joining us on the empty side of the table. For the past week, maybe, at our local game store, we've looked at this game and watched some reviews, things like that. It looked pretty interesting. Apparently it's based after a, I believe it was a PC game first and then maybe went to Nintendo later. Like the name of the company, Trick or, Street, Trick or Treat Studios. This is just an unboxing of Shadowgate, the Living Castle. The Mario movie's been out for a few days. Haven't seen it yet. Might see it this weekend. Obviously, we saw the D&D movie. So let's see what it says. Five to find, three or one. One gives access, the bladed sun, the silver orb to banish below, the staff of ages to vanquish the foe, joining the two, joining to the golden thorn, the last to invoke, the platinum horn. You have heard this properly many times, one regarding the chosen hero that will save the wasteland, the westland, from a great and rising darkness. Those days are now before you. For Talamar, the Starless, the Warlock Lord, is once again moving in this world. He has descended far below. He has descended far below Castle Shadowgate, ready to release a creature of immense power upon the world and bring it into chaos. Based on the award-winning video game, you'll explore Shadowgate, the living castle, discovering relics and spells and completing legendary quests. Compete against other players to piece together the fabled Staff of Ages. It is only then that you will be able to confront the Warlock Lord, fulfill the prophecy, and be, and be crowned High Lord of the Westland. Equip items. I do like the art a whole lot on this. Obviously, this is going to be a game that we'll probably never see the light of play. Maybe we'll attempt a solo campaign or try to figure out how to do one. Maybe I can do this without using life. Yeah. There we go. Come on. Go. I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous video, but for uh, that role player game up there, it came with a ton of dice, but seemed to roll pretty horribly, so we took it upon ourselves to empty one of our jaws of dice, and we took some of the generics, solids, and replaced it into role player. We'll have to wait and see if they actually roll any better. So, this is uh, for two to four players. Lasts around 60 to 90 minutes, and it's for ages 14 and up. <clears throat> well, I can already tell that the uh, components are pretty top-notch. I believe these are the player boards. Here we have Fezlin Quickfoot Fenling Thief. When drawing one or more one or more item cards, you may cycle one of those cards once and draw a new one once per turn. Are these double-sided? Yes, they are. Cool. So it looks like there's a lot of different characters on this. It's just like a male and female thing. Now, Willowmere, Fenling, Fenling Shaman. You may play a magic token as any magic type. Yeah, Kuth, Kuthaga, Human Warrior. Start the game with one extra item card. These are not nice uh, solid boards too. Gorin, Tree Strike, Dwarven Smithy. You may discard two general item cards from your inventory to draw an item card from the item card stack onto the turn. They all seem to be kind of color coded. 
Blackmere, the Timeless, Human Wizard. You may swap your base traits upon discarding a magic item card. Akara Akaria Tien, Elven Archer. You gain plus one for each weapon equipped. Cool. Thurodin Ray, Human Paladin. When you complete a monster quest, gain an item card in addition to any other quest rewards. Thurodin Ray. Catalia, I said that right. Catalia Ma, Elven Cleric. You start the game with two elemental tokens of your choice. Really nice. Let's look at the little book here. I would uh, read this here, but I'm not sure how much um, stuff we have to look at within. Lots of tokens, but not entirely full of chit, as it were. It's a pretty big looking board. I like that it's uh, in color. Obviously I haven't read through the book yet, but I haven't heard any complaints about uh, the instructions. If I'm not mistaken, uh, you can see an area for death cards. You can die multiple times in this game. It just causes some demerits on your victory points at the end. <coughs> Extra bag there. Okay, so here we have the dice. Here we have the chip tokens. Got a wooden torch and two locks. Nice, big, and chunky. <clears throat> Here's the playable. There we go. Okay, those are the cards. Nice. We should probably look at those. Let's pull these out. As I said, the artwork is uh, pretty stunning. So I'm going to choose to look at the cards rather than undo the playable. So what it looks like we have here is an item deck. We have a robe of the court, shattered mirror, coat of arms, Yorick, I knew him well, black axe, leather sling, so there's a weapon, obviously, iron spear, crossbow, oh, maybe these are color coded for uh, I don't know, different levels, longbow, iron buckler, wooden shield, berserker helm, Steel breastplate, iron mace, warhammer, broadsword, scimitar. Maybe I shouldn't be reading these. Nice from above. These are magic cards. Fleeting embers. Summon elemental. Look at that. I really like this style of art. Being on the senses. Galactite. Biting tendrils. Flame of Goron. Incandescence, Blazing Revelation, Wings of Death. That's really nice. Reminds me a bit of uh, something you'd see from Brom. Breath of Angels, Minor Minstrel, Tempest of Talgar, Ancient Rune, another Ancient Rune, Skeleton Key, Star Chart, Rune Scribe Gear, Historic Tome, Platinum Horn, Bladed Sun, Grappling Hook, Black Crystal. Riddle, 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 riddle. Okay, these are the things you have to solve um, during the game to complete a quest. Well, something like that. 
Gavin Stav, Golden Horn, Silver Orb. I think these are the three that you have to put together in order to complete the game. And it will defeat the bad guy and complete the game. I feel a bit silly doing this now. We just recently got a side gig. And all we're doing is uh, sorting magic cards. I attempted to get into the game when it first came out. But as always, we had no friends and nowhere to play. We even worked at a game store for a little while. But, um, yeah. Uh, our previous occupation that we're still at was just uh, our boss has become something other. And it's quite upsetting. We've been, uh, he's been taking advantage of us quite a lot. Like nothing good, nothing legal. I'm sure nothing legal if I wanted to go that route. I do love this art. Uh, to pity though, I've been at it for 10 years now. Probably more, actually. It's the best job I've ever had. Greed. Hmm. Ancient scroll. Scattered coin. Rot iron bar. All make glasses. Ooh, I like those. I'd wear something like that. Kind of already do. Scrying dice. Healing potion. Gauntlet. Ice key. Reminds me of the Sandman. Key ring. Gold key. The key to hell I'm thinking of. From the Sandman novels. Sketch, mystery solution, skull. See, even with these simple little iconic things, the artwork is just amazing. It's really well done. Rock bait, torch, 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 torch. Sword of Oaths, Circle Rune, King's Crown, Signet Ring. I'm not sure if I've cleared out my memory card. I have still been taking pictures for that job. My job. So it might uh, cut out on us at the last minute because I apologize. Cabin entrance. That's gorgeous. Shrine alcove. Wizard's den. Mirrors. Frozen cellar. Footbridges. Alright, should probably look at the other side. That's a really cool picture there, too. So, yes, um, as I've already said countless times, this artwork is stellar. Really, really impressive. Crypt. Chained puzzle. I'd like to see uh, more from this artist or for this game. There, this puzzle. I believe I heard in one review that the planning expansions, Passage, Fire Drake Pass, Dragon's Den, Talamar's Intimidation, these are event cards, Cavern Stairway, Watchtower, Library, Study, Drawbridge, Keep Tower, Battlements, Apothecary, Throne Rune, Rune Cave Puzzle, Bookshelf Puzzle, Well Puzzle, Grand Hallway, Guard Room, Banquet Hall, Hidden Alcove, Vanishing Room, Great Chasm, Black, Black Mere's Refuge. What is that? Oh, broken Mule. Typically I'd like to see uh, this artwork in a deck of tarot cards, Winter's Keep, or even like a graphic novel or comic book, Observatory. This is really amazing stuff. Constellation Puzzle, Crystal Panel Puzzle, Landing Battle, North Spire, Strong. There was a 
There was a graphic novel publisher that did uh, all of their books had art like this. Very similar. Got it down. But you got the uh, Magical Prism. I got the impression that a lot of this stuff was just being rent written as uh, treatments to go to Hollywood and go, hey, look, make a movie of this. A lot of the characters would look almost exactly like specific celebrities. Radical Publishing, that's the name. Surprise Attack. Behemoth. Reaper. Warlock Lord. And these are reference cards. See, even on the reference card, it's just got amazing artwork. Sorry, I had to rush through that. Um, I've only been at this job for about a week now. And all I'm doing is just separating magic cards. I'm in no way complaining because I'm getting more money now <laughs> than it was at my previous job that I'm still working at. So, this is Shadowgate the Living Castle. I look forward to hopefully playing it someday. Thank you for joining us. Stay healthy. Always be kind.